Hello folks and welcome to the installation tutorial for how to make Siege of Avalon work on Windows 10. So the first thing you have to do is you have to get the installation for it. Um, this game you can actually acquire through the myabandonware.com website. Just go there, go all the way down to the bottom and click on the download icon. You want download ISO version, uh, nothing else that's in the uh, add tab or anything like that. So once you've downloaded the file, it should be around 380 megabytes. Uh, you will go into that folder and you will go to the Siege of Avalon. Uh, well, you have a little ISO you, that you'll mount uh, using whatever program you use to mount uh, CD ROMs. So whether it's uh, Daemon Tools, for example, uh, is my general go-to. So you, op you open that up. Then you have an SOA underscore CD dot exe file. Just go ahead, activate that. Uh, it'll give you a little warning about this copy isn't made for versions of Windows NT. Just go ahead, hit OK. Install it into the directory that you want to install it to. And then after that, you will go to the Siege of Avalon patches uh, website. Again, all of these links are going to be in the description. From there, you will go down to Unofficial Patches. Under Patch 1.4, you will download English Patch 1.4 by Blackfly Studios. It's a 222 megabyte file. Pretty much you're going to do all of that. Once you are done with that, you will go to your Siege of Avalon folder where you installed. You will open up the patch file and you will take everything from there and move it directly over. So let's see, games. All right, so you get an SOA, well, I shortened this one to SOA 14, but you'll take all the files here, you'll copy them over directly into your Siege of Avalon folder. Um, just overwrite any of the previous files there. It's not going to hurt anything because the current files don't do anything for you. So once you've done that, you will also go to the DG Voodoo 2 website. Again, the link is in the description because this one is kind of complicated to get to. You'll download DG Voodoo version 2.6. This is the most latest version that's out. And from there, you'll get a little folder, little zip file that has a few different options here. 3DFX, a doc, MS, a config file, that sort of thing. Uh, where you want to go is you want to go into the MS folder, x86, and then you'll copy and paste all of the DL DLL files from there into your installation folder. Uh, if you're wondering what these files are, they're pretty much just wrappers. So pretty much made to make the old versions of DirectX work on a newer system. So uh, you can use these files with a lot of older games, and they do actually do quite a bit to improve um, the compatibility for those games. And one of these games is Siege of Avalon. Now, once you've done all of that, there's one last thing you have to do to make this work. So the way the patch works is it changes up a few things. You'll have to go into the your main Siege of Avalon folder. You'll go into Artlib, Resources. Then for the audio folder, you need to copy that into your main directory for Siege of Avalon. So just go ahead, paste it there. Once you've done with the, once you're done with that, uh, you can go to config.exe to change some of the basic stuff. Um, nothing major there to change though. So just go ahead and hit OK. Then you can do dt main1.exe, and that will open the game folder. Now once you're inside the game, you can go ahead, go to new game. Uh, the patch that you installed for 1.4 gives you a few different options that aren't available in the normal game. Uh, you can do male or female rather than just male. You can change skin color based on a little uh, color palette. Same with hair color. Got your hair style. And then there's also a special ability option too, which gives you a little boost. Um, you will notice that the text here is all messed up. Unfortunately, that is a side effect of using the graphics wrapper. I noticed before using it that the font wasn't messed up. Uh, unfortunately, there was an incredible amount of lag for the game, which 
pretty much made it unplayable. Uh, the weird graphics and the text is pretty much just something that's going to be there on uh, just some of the text. It's not all of it, so for the most part, it should be relatively playable. You'll have it on any of the dialogue, so that kind of sucks. Uh, fortunately, these screens are, do good, so they must... I don't know if this is done like just as a like a JPEG or something, as a picture to escape any of that issue. But you'll notice it's on any of the dialogue. But once you get past that, the main view of this of the game works. Uh, sound will also work. You'll notice these little blur blurbs don't have the issue. But yeah, everything should be working now, so you can go ahead play the game as you like. If you have this on Windows 7, you actually don't have to include the graphics wrapper. So the third step of the installation you don't have to do. All you need to do is do the patch and um, install the game. Well, install the game, then do the patch, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will uh, help you out. And if you found this uh, guide useful, be sure to subscribe here and let me know any other content you want to see or anything like that. I also have a Siege of Avalon playthrough where I play through as a mage. You can check that out on, uh, on my page as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.